Hello everybody, Ian Robster. Welcome back to an episode of the New Bear Farm. Alright, we are currently just harvesting a little bit of corn and uh, we're going to this Thank you. cell point way up here. How'd you go, Ian? I just had to figure out the right way to get out. Alright, so, this is the area they were talking about here. It's a little, uh, really? I'm able to back up right beside it, but not actually. That's just silly. So, there's this little enclosed bridge here. There we go. That should be okay now. So there's a little enclosed bridge you have to get past <laughs> in order to get to the cell point. And then once you get on the stuck <laughs> once you get on that bridge, you gotta deal around it. Stuck on a bridge, a new album by the newbie fun. You're welcome. Oh goodness. As you can hear, we're joined by Country Gaming and Spud Boy. And we're just harvesting some corn as I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. It's called the newbie farm, so that's why you get stuck on things, right? So, how are you doing today, anyways, Beavis? All right. And past the shop here. There we are. And. Go back up to the field here. It's not too bad. Just that initial, just the bridge part at the very end, which is the difficult part. Everything else is pretty simple. Jens, how's it going? So you want to put weight on this field next? Yep. All right, let's go this way. And then that way. Do you want to use manure or liquid manure? Oh, slurry or digestate to spray the field. Or do digestate it. Alright. Right. Let's just unload this combine here. I think the um you put it on high worker, it's still set to pull from the digestate tank. Yeah, I'll check that right now. Still recovering from E3, the hype. Why was there a lot of hype at E3? I didn't follow it too closely to be honest with you. Yep. Alright. Did you actually go to E3 or are you just watching the EP, E3 stuff? Alright. Who's going to make the turn? Looks like the high worker's going to go for it here. You got your harvester on hard work it, Spud? Yep. Alright, there's only one strip left to do. All right, just stay there, country game. I'll grab you. Yep, thanks. There we go. Yeah, I guess E3 was a little while ago. Although the E3 cinematic trailer, whatever you want to call it, the trailer for uh, so from in-game John Deere's. I was just I gotta munch that myself. Yeah, that's gonna be kind of crazy, eh? Hopefully, they're well. Based on what I see in 17, I'm, I imagine ones in 7, 19 will be equally good. Oh, I imagine they'll just have some of them. They might have like one old one and some new ones too. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have more than one, but they're not revealing that. No. I'm sure that'll be revealed through the cards as opposed to as launch approaches. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what they do with that stuff. And then the cotton, of course, is the other big reveal, I suppose. Yeah, we. For everyone who wanted cotton harvesting. <laughs> well, we've been getting cotton on Beaver Creek, so, you know, on Stevie's map. But, yeah, but you've been harvesting like a regular combine, not like a cotton combine sort of thing. Cotton oh, yeah. Combine. Yep. 
Yeah, they have a special combine for cotton. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of mods kind of spin out of that too. Yeah, did you notice how in, on the video, did you notice how narrow that um, that cotton header was? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not huge, not like corn headers or green headers. All right, I'll show you the shop that we were just at <laughs> from the other side here. Sorry. All right, there we go. I would presume something lined up would make a nice Ferguson lamp with the game. Yeah, exactly. It would be something similar to that. So they got some mid-sized ones and a couple large ones. Okay, Maybe. digest date, we've got 68%. Uh, they'll probably put like a maybe a five, a five, I don't know, a five thousand series, a six thousand series, seven thousand, and maybe an eight or nine. Probably a nine, I would suspect. All right. So this is the, we have to go past the shop here, and you have to go up to this other little area up here, which is like on an island. It's a little bit of a difficult area to get around, to maneuver around. That's for sure. Maybe we'll get a ninety-five sixty. RX with their newest one. Yep, I'm getting the Dodge with the option of narrow tracks. All right, so here is the that's the bridge I just came around. Let's see if I can give Spud enough room here. I'll pull to the left end. You can come on through. Yep, I got give you head off some space there. Cool. Just didn't get stuck on the bridge. No, not this time. Wow. I was stuck on the bridge, yeah. So you gotta take this really slow through here. So you go up here. You gotta turn right. Right off the bridge there. And then you have to go up through here. And then your cell point's up here on the left. So I drive into the gas station. And then here's your cell point right here. Now that's a pretty I've done it once already, but that's pretty tricky to get in that in there without making too much of a mess. You couldn't possibly have chosen a bigger machine, eh? All right, now the way I got out this time was I did this in here, and then I kept going straight here. And then here's where I made the turn. There we go. And then over here. And then this is where it becomes a bit interesting, is making this right-hand turn. What oh, you mean the John Deere one? Yeah. All right, now let's see. Stay off to the left. There we go. That's not easy to do, though. <laughs> but it's possible to do. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how the whole, uh, all the John Deere stuff works out, and I know John Deere's got a uh, uh, a cotton harvester, so it'll be interesting to see what's up and see what they actually include. I hope they include at least one classic. It would be nice to have at least a nice, at least one older style John Deere. That's actually good. <laughs> also wondering the needs of the horses. Yeah. Apart from riding them. So I don't know, it'll be curious to see what they do with that. Whether they make horses har harvestable or not, so. Yep. I don't know, do you think they're gonna make horses so you can send, set, take them to the butcher shop or something like that, or just make it so they can sell them to... I don't know, it depends how people feel about it. I know a lot of people eat horse. No, what did you say? You you know a lot of people that eat horse. Yeah, it's pretty popular in Quebec. Well, oh, really? in comparison to other places, yeah. Uh, most of the cotton harvesters are those of about two lane we roads. Yeah, some people are don't try don't don't even consider trying things like that, but just depends on what your point of view is. Uh, Paul says, 
uh, most cotton headers <laughs> cotton headers are about two lanes of the road wide oh that's you know that sounds like an, another sugar cane harvester oh yeah for sure it's exactly what it'll be you're not excited for that I thought you liked sugar cane harvesting no not unless it's a modded harvester I'm sure we'll see modded harvesters at some point in the future too. Yeah, it'll be interesting if there's like a a process where you have to take the the cotton to a, a textile and factory or something like that, and then take the textile somewhere else. But that's something that probably pharmacy wouldn't do. But that's making me think of railway empire. <laughs> Did you hear rail? I don't. Do you ever pick up Railway Empire Spot? I can't remember. Yeah, I never really put much time into it though. Oh, there's a, oh okay. You never put much time. I don't know. I'd like that game, but I just, I had to control myself not to put too much time into it. It's one of those games where I was like, oh yes, walk away from the computer. Yep. At least it was for me. It reminded me a lot of uh, Transport Tycoon. So it was kind of like a, or well, I say railway, what would be railroads, I guess would be the equivalent. Hey, text long haul, what's up? Yeah, I remember the classic railroad tycoon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And of course, there's always, yep, there's always Transport Tycoon Deluxe, or Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, which is open source now. Well, that version of oh, that version is open source at least. There we go. Put that back in there. They're probably going to be first. Uh, those are probably going to be the first mods. Conversers are cool color choice and 840, <laughs> 184 meter header. Yeah, exactly. So that exactly that's exactly what's going to happen. People will be like, ah, I'm done with this. Let's move on. Oh goodness. You're just uh, putting slurry down on that field there, Liz? Yeah, I'm just doing a, a headland and with slurry and then I'm going to stick it on hard worker and it'll pull it from the BGA. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. And that's still need to be seated, I guess? Uh, yep. After it's been slurried and whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up. Oh, where was that? This guy over here. TTD for life. Yeah, it's hard to. That's a tough cookie, that one. I really like Railway's Empires, um, and I probably will pick up the DLC at some point. Just need to find. Uh, I'm not even sure how much it is. And actually, there was another DLC that I wanted to check out too, which is the uh, Car Mechanic Simulator DLC. It's funny that game I can just play for like a short period of time and then I'm done with it. Like I don't, uh, I don't get addicted to it or anything. And just, it's just like okay, cool, and then I'm done with it. I have to check out the new thing. But there's a lot you can do in the game. That's for sure. Hello, Paul Suma. Or Palusuma, Palusuma, Palusma. All right, so we are working on field nine here. Let's make a little turn here, and there we go. All right. What were you planting in this field? Wheat. Wheat. Okay. There we go. Back to wheat. Give Country Gaming a moment there to finish up the headland. Right, I'll just get up to this end, turn around, and I'll stick it on hard worker. 
I'm not sure about that, Texas Long Haul. An older one, if I had to guess. Well, an older one now, I guess. There you go, Country Game, just lining it up there. What size of field is this? Squarish. Okay. Hopefully, we'll go in a straight line. All right. Let's get lined up here. So, and then shift it to the right a little bit. There we go. Da 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 da. There we go. Hey, and so happy John will be uh, FS19. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm actually a little surprised, but uh, there was quite a people. A lot of people were like, you know, a lot of people were like, well, what's the one thing you want? And a lot of people were like, oh, I'd like to have John Deere in the game. So. It'll be curious to see uh, how that actually works out. So I imagine that based on how they've done some of the mods and done some of the uh, in-game stuff in the uh, in, for like JCB, for example, or uh, Case or anybody else that's in the game, I think they'll do a really good job. And I just hope they put uh, some older tractors in there too. That'd be nice to see. Not just the brand brand new ones, but some older ones as well. All right, that should be good. But yeah, it'll be really cool. And it's cool to, cool to see hot cotton in there as well. Uh, that's a nice little uh, thing to see as well, so. We shall see how it all turns out. You know, so this is the first little taste of what's coming basically, and then we have to wait months before we see anything more conclusive. As Beavis mentioned before, like this is just a, uh, this is just like a, a cinematic version of what's going on, so we won't see anything in game for a while yet. So that'll be the one downfall, I suppose. Is you know, you gotta be, you gotta try and be like, okay, well, what's the new thing coming out? So we'll see. It was a surprise twist that only JD we, we get his model A with a pull type coming. <laughs> oh, there you go. I mean, the, anything's, anything's possible. Especially since I play console and no John Deere mods. Oh, okay. No well. worries. What was that, Spot Sire? Oh, oh, okay. Welcome back then. Thank you. It would seem your high worker got stuck there, Liz. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd do. I'll do another headland up this end. It got stuck on the hedge. Go figure, eh? Who would have thought? Yep. Alright, sweet. For Liz to do that headland there. Console. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, there's lots of people playing console and just don't have a PC, Beavis. It is the way it is. I'll just go along here. Is that going to be too close? Oh no. Just, just barely. I thought it was going to be too close actually, but hey. We're okay. But yeah, I'll definitely be curious to see what they, what they do with it. What, what models they bring out. Um, usually, the nice thing about this is, um, <clears throat> is because John Deere is making, or John Deere, because Giants is making the, um, is making the models for for the actual uh, game itself. Hopefully, we'll see some uh, we'll see some good mods come from that as well. So there'll be a really solid baseline that modders can use as well. Mildly surprised, John Deere has been added. John Deere is fiercely protective of their brand and trademark. Indeed.
looks like I have to wait a moment here. Or I could just do the head length at the bottom there. There we go. While we're waiting, I suppose, that's what I could do. Yeah, but it was kind of it was kind of a surprise. I wasn't really keeping up with all the news on that because I was like, you know, it's all speculation until something actually comes out, right? So that's why I was kind of like, okay, we'll, we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. You know, if something does happen, then it would be great. And something happened in the end. So we got Cotton and uh, John Deere, which is pretty neat. There we go. Get this edge here. I still curse Ian of being a, a mole for the Giants. <laughs> yeah, I, I know I do work for John Deere, so there was a bit of a <laughs> there was a bit of that, I suppose. Whatever you want to call it. All right, let's get this little edge here. Then we'll go back to our GPS. Hopefully by then the other hard worker will be done by then. Uh, he gets hired by John Deere and yet they magically appear in the game. Almonds activated. <laughs> yeah, I guess that that is kind of a a funny uh, turn of events, really. Maybe it was due to my paramount influence. Insert laugh track here. No offense to your employer. It's all good. Technically, I work for the dealership, not necessarily John Deere specifically, but. Alright, looks like they're making their way back, which is good for us. This will be able to clean up the edges here a little bit. And then. back to this little area right here. There we go. Perfect. And we'll just grab this little part right here that apparently we missed. And is the high worker going to do its job this time? <laughs> I enjoy a good conspiracy theory. Yes, you do, Beavis. Breaking the conditioning. <laughs> Looks like the slurry can go down just a little bit faster than I can. Which isn't a bad thing, really. Pardon me? Spud just asked me if I could do the BGA before I log off. Oh, yes. Eight o'clock. <laughs> yep. Breaking the conditioning. <laughs> oh, goodness. Farm Bros, what's up? Alright. It'll be the turns where I make up the most time in comparison to the high worker, that's for sure. Oh, that's gonna be pretty good actually. Might just miss a smidgen. Not much though. So see how fast I made that turn in comparison to the hard worker. But then on the straight oasis is when the hard workers got me beat, as you can see here. Put a little bit of wheat down here. It's always good to have a little bit of extra straw hanging about. For your animals, at least. You know, with that pig, pigs or cows. Actually, one of my colleagues, he sells a lot of hay and straw to horse farmers, strangely enough. So, anyways. So you're off to work soon, Spud. Yeah, I got about two minutes. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Fair enough. Alright. 
about maybe halfway down this field now, just about. Yeah, probably missed that little tiny, tiny bit there. One more little straw down or uh, grass down to the cows. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty close. We might miss the. I don't know. Maybe we'll get it all. That's not too bad at all, then. I'm, sorry, I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I thought we were going to miss a little bit there, but it looks like we're good. Now that we got the end part there, it makes a big difference when you have a tractor that can make a nice tight turn. And it's wide enough so that it, you can do that kind of thing. But anyways, it is what it is. All right, folks, I'm going to finish this up off camera. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoy. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more The New Bear Farm. I'll catch you guys later.